Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Mordecai Schwartz with the Mordecai Schwartz Show. Um, this is actually my um, my third take uh, on the video. Um, the first time I thought I was videoing and uh, I thought I was, re was recording and I was not recording at all. And then the second time I kind of was like, okay, I kind of got off track and was just rambling. But um, it has been two years now and I'm so happy to be back. I want to say hey to everyone. I've missed everyone. I've just been... You know, I guess living my life and, um, you know, sometimes, like, I don't have a haircut. I actually drove past the barbershop today and he had one person there, but it was, like, already 4 o'clock. And I live on the beach, so I just wanted to get home and get off that bridge and get on, you know, my street. And then just get to my house and that way I could just, you know, just relax from just... I work. My job is so stressful where I just don't want to be around people and I talk, I answer the phone. Not, okay, I don't... I'm the recruiter for the company that I work for. So I either have to talk on the phone, I'm in the computer, talking to applicants, candidates all day long. So it's just a lot of work. But anyway, I wanted to do a um, review on Kojic soap or Koji San acid soap or Koji San Kojic acid soap. And I'm pretty sure you've seen this. This is the, the soap with the geisha on the front. And I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty, it's Japanese, but they sell it in predominantly all of the uh, Asian countries and also here. Um, now, uh, I can't say that um, I did get this because of all the reviews that I read in all the videos that I watched on YouTube. I did, I watched a lot, I mean, from, I looked on my phone, um, so between that and how to make lotion and how to make, um, uh, you know, putting Kojic acid into your already pre-made stuff it was like 28 hours and i kid you not because I, I know i fell asleep a couple times but um i can't say that the uh koji san um acid soap koji koji san koji acid soap has worked for me um i'm not i paid for this they are not they're not paying me for the, to say anything about this now you can look online and a lot of people there are two people in particular that are using this for skin lightening they actually uh, they use a lot of um, stuff now um, I don't feel that people should actually have to defend themselves on why they are buying something uh, to either buy it because it's for um, what for whatever reason it is because it's their money you know um, and it does say Koji San skin lightning soap on there but um, you know my, my main thing is it just seems like a lot of people are defending themselves. You don't have to defend yourself on what you're spending your money for. If you're spending this to get lighter, I hope you get lighter. If you are spend, spending your money on this to get rid of uh, stretch marks, like I did, which my stretch marks really have lightened up because I was just in the bathroom. And I said, you know what, let me look before I do this video. Because I look every day, but I, I, nobody, I in particular don't just look at my stretch marks every day. So, um... I noticed like I had to take a double look and like pull my stretch marks apart to see like okay like these have actually diminished because I that is something that I didn't expect right there. I've been dealing with these since I was 14 one summer we were uh, shorter than my mom and then the next summer well the school when the school year started back in August we were taller than our mom so I remember and I've been the same size my little brother he actually shot up to like an extra foot taller than me and uh, oof, 200 and what is he like 240 pounds but yeah he's a little he's you know my little brother but um anyway the stretch marks that I have on my behind and uh, um, like you can use it for dark elbows um, hyperpigmentation like I have freckles I'm actually okay with my freckles my grandmother uh, was um, you know she was mixed so she she had red hair and freckles I'm, I'm okay. I'm actually okay that I inherited those freckles. I'm okay with that. But um, I just want to say, like, a lot of people are going to, they, this, I can honestly say the soap is good. The soap did dry me out. And I wash my tail twice a day anyway, so it's not like it was a, a problem to use this soap. Now, one thing I can say is that um, I am, you do have to cut the soap up in little pieces. Cut it up into little pieces. And at first, when you were I was reading the reviews and watching the the video reviews on that I'm like okay and my first I was like these bitches is they just being cheap they don't want to spend the money on the soap but you can take a bar of that soap in the bathroom with you one time and then you will see how much how fast it dissolves and then you like I just bought this soap like two days ago 
where the hell is it? And then I can honestly say, like, my family, we've always used wash rags. My mom, we had a uh, closet, linen closet full of wash rags. I'm talking about wash rags for days. So I've noticed with this, it does not lather with a wash rag. So I'm not, I'm not really used to, like, just rubbing a bar of soap on my body because that's not really how I was taught that you get clean. So what I do is I actually take the bar, I rub it in my hand, and I get a real good lather going, and then I rub it on my skin. I rub it on my skin, and now the directions say for 30 seconds. You can, some people say, well, I leave it on for 20 minutes, I leave it on for five minutes, I sleep with it on. The, okay, first of all, if, um, if you hurt yourself, the directions are on the box, and the directions do not say 20 minutes, five minutes, 50 minutes, eight hours, which is a good sleep. It does not say that. Um, so it's up to you on what you want to do just when you get burned. You know, so like, uh, I don't know if I already said this because it could have been in the other video, but I, the other two videos, but I did email the company. And um, I don't know if I emailed her from Amazon or not, but I think I emailed her from Amazon. And if I'm not mistaken, I think her name was Misty. Now, I did get this from Sweet Susie at Flawless Beauty in Ocean Township, New Jersey when I ordered it. So I did see that um, she did send me something that said Flawless Beauty was an uh, authentic or authorized authorized uh, dealer of the Koji sign here in America and on Amazon. So, you know, I was a little skeptical. So I actually did go to the Koji sign website um, and they're all sold out of the soaps. So I'm like, okay, so it must be a surplus of them on Amazon for Amazon to have them. Because people were saying they were making fake soap. I read the reviews and I'm like, how the hell, if you're going to make fake soap, you might as well just, if you're going to spend all that time making that soap, just go ahead and throw the kochic acid in there and just do it like that. Now, kochic acid, they say it's between, used between 1% and 4%. There are some people using way more than that. I, um, look, I would just say follow the directions because if you follow the directions and if you do get hurt, then, you know, you, you have a problem to say, so you can say something. But if you don't follow the directions and you get hurt, then that's on you. But um, I can say that with the stretch marks, hyperpigmentation, I like my freckles. I hope they don't go away. Um, some people are using it for skin lightening, and from the looks of it, they're also they're using more than this. And the thing is, a lot of the stuff did say that the darker you are, the longer that it's going to take. Um, I do know that I did watch a lot of the, um, and I hope I'm not using this term as derogatory, but a lot of the people that were Asian. Um, or Asian-esque uh, were, you know, they were using it to get rid of their tans. And they, you know, they have melanin, but not a lot, not like, not like me, you know. So they were saying that it really did work for them, like lickety split. So um, I'm holding this box up like I'm getting paid. I'm not getting paid for this, but like I'm just saying I've used this and I can tell you on my stretch marks. Now I still got to work on my elbows and my knees because I don't want to have black, I, st I I got one elbow that's dark and then one elbow that's not dark or not as dark. But I'm using it on my elbows, uh, my knees, my knees, my legs, and my, my legs are light brown and my feet are yellow. So, and my arm and my hands are dark because I my driving hand and, you know, my um, underneath this shirt, all up here is like yellow and brown. Like it's a yellow color, brown color. So my body is definitely, you know, I don't know now. I thought my neck was darker than that. Okay, never mind now. Okay. Oh, and um, also, too, I had something on my neck. I don't know what it was, but it was itching. And I said, well, I'm going to rub the Koji sign on there. I don't have that problem anymore. That right there is gone or is under control, whatever it was. And then, I don't know what this was, but it was itching over here. And see, well, it's hot where we live at. So, I don't, I try not to use all that powder because I saw when them women are getting ovarian cancer and I don't have ovaries or, you know, all the other stuff, but I got something down there and I don't want to be getting some stuff that could possibly hurt me like what they talking about. Cause they ain't getting a billion dollars. I ain't having no kids, period, but I'm just saying. But um, I had something right here and the first thing that popped in my head was like, that look like a dirty ass ring on my neck. And I one thing that my mama always taught me, she said, Make sure you get your neck when you shower. She was like, Cause you, you don't get your neck, you're going to look dirty. So I, I, I scrubbed the heck out of my neck. But I did have a line right there that was itching, and I didn't know what it was. So I was like, okay, I got this soap. 
OG son, baby. So I coach signed up my neck and it is gone. Now I do remember my neck being darker, so I've only been using this for two weeks. So I don't know. I don't know. I I'm not trying to I'm not trying to lighten up. Like I don't know. I was darker. Oh, I'm gonna have to go examine myself in the mirror. But um anyway, I can say um Looks like the coach sound is working to me, baby. But um, you can use this what you will want to use it for. I think that if you're spending your money, you can use it. Some people, like I said, you know, the people that are using it for skin lightening, you know, baby, more power to you. Just follow the directions on the box. Um, and I hope, you know, you keep yourself healthy and your skin looking good. Because, uh, honey, I use lots of acid on my face and my skin. And I burnt myself. Had, like I got, like I've been in spousal abuse where I didn't black my eyes and my nose and I just spit out something. And, uh, you know, um, oh, also, oh, too, the main reason I was, because I don't want to get really close up on the camera, because I don't want y'all to see my, my flop flop. But right here and right here, I don't like that. It's, it's like, um, I can see more pores, and I can see more pores on my nose. And I said, okay, one thing, and I just, I did just get a toner, so I'm starting using witch hazel, because I used to be really into my skin when I was younger, because I was modeling, you know. I was the stuff back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got this long neck, so I did print work. So I, in print work, you look, I look like I'm six foot tall because I got this long turtleneck. I am five foot six and three fourths, baby. So um, I did like a lot of print work. So, you know, you, I always had, and, and I drank soda like crazy. Um, I, so it's a lot of things that you can do to also help your skin get better. Uh, but I can say that this, um, you know they should have a little gimmick for this like since it's Japanese and I'm being so bad right now but I think it should be like since she's got that little wink thing like Koji-san or it's you know something like that real catchy but I can't honestly say that this has worked um, for me um, as far as what I'm using it for as far as the uh, keratosis uh, the stretch marks the uh now I, honestly i have not noticed any reduction of the pores on my nose in two weeks but i have noticed a reduction in the two spots that i have here and here and i've had these ever since i was 14 and the first time that i had them i was using proactive and i actually called the company and told her that it, it changed the skin around my nose and they told me to just stop using that and that was a long time ago y'all because uh i am uh like i said i'm at that age where i have to start taking care of my skin now because if not you seen in videos where women don't use lotion and they got crepe skin and I ain't I'm not a woman. I don't want no I don't want a wrinkly chest. I don't want to, and I don't want no wrinkly throat. Like whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want one of those. So you know I'm gonna take care of my skin. So also this is this right here is a soap that will help you take care of your skin as far as whatever you you know what just try it for yourself because just because it worked for me doesn't mean it worked for you. Like I said it didn't burn me and she said it doesn't burn everybody. So when she said when she said it doesn't burn everybody, I thought automatically I was like, okay, I didn't buy some fake ass soap. And so what I did is I went and bought some Kojic acid, and this is uh, 50 grams. And you can actually weigh this out. Just go buy you like a kitchen scale. You and actually one to four percent. I think that the soap only uses one percent of. Uh, you know what? And I don't even think I showed you, but I did cut it up into pieces because at first, like I told you. When everybody said cut it up into pieces, I was like, these bitches just trying to be cheap and just trying to save some money. But actually cut it up into pieces. You can actually cut this with a plastic knife like I did. Use it. You can take one of those in the bathroom. I actually, what I do is I actually have one little bar piece like this in the bathroom that sits on top of uh, um, a conditioner bottle on the back of it. And uh, so it won't get as wet. And then if it gets wet, I carry, you know, I take a bar in the bathroom with me every morning anyway, just in case. Um, so I had... That's what I do. That's what I did. Because at first, I really thought they were just trying to be cheap. But, um, you know, you can learn from people's mistakes, trial and error, and, um, you know, learn from it. But like I said, I did get an imported thing, if you can see that, she, where it does have an imported label. Like, I, I'm still not sure if the soap is authentic. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I did actually, like, I emailed her and told her I'm not burning. Um, I don't feel a stinging sensation. The only time I did feel burning was on my lips. And uh, that's because I did, uh, I left it on longer than what I was supposed to. They said 30 seconds. I left it on for like a minute or two when I was, um, do, I think I was, I don't know what I was doing, but I, I left it on and I wasn't supposed to um, that long. And my lips started burning. 
and um, and I have noticed that my lips have gotten lighter. Like I said, I have, you know how like, uh, I guess well some, you know, um, people with, you know, I don't want to say just black people because people that have, you know, darker lips or, um, I, I, you know, I don't even know where I'm going with it. I just know that the color on my lips has gotten lighter. So that is a, a plus for me. Because I used to get, you know, people just tell me how cute my lips were. So you tell me how cute I was when I started getting older and stuff. But um, I can say that it works. And I, I would just say if you have a little bit of expendable money, go out and try it. You don't have to do what I say. I'm just saying that um, I've tried it so far. I've liked it. And like I said, I wash my body every day anyway. So it's not a problem for me to have a bar of soap to use. And like I said, I wasn't sure that if this was working. Because, I, it, it, honey, I didn't feel a burn. And... They were talking about fake soap, so what I did is I went ahead and bought some Kojic Acid. I have a scale. I weighed it out. Um, I think right now I'm just using 3% because the soap is not doing nothing. 3% is not even burning my skin. And that's probably because I've used lemon juice, baking soda, glycolic acid, vinegar, uh, white vinegar, and apple cider vinegar. I've, like, tortured myself, like, you know, you want, everybody wanted to get that photo shoot back in the day. That's all I'm saying. So, um... I can say that um, this is, um, I, I bought this because I wasn't sure about this. So right now I put this in like my uh, Vaseline lotion um, at 3%. Then you do it by, by weight, like 3% of 22.3 grams. Or I think it's 20.3 ounces. So you do 3% of that and then you do it by grams. So you get the ounces of what 3% is or 2% or 1%. Look, they say, all the experts say do not exceed more than 4%. So I would not exceed more than 4%. But um, I just really wanted to see if it was going to get rid of the stretch marks, the um, the keratosis and stuff. Now, I did notice that. I just noticed that in the camera because I'm going to have to go examine that in the, in the mirror, in the bathroom. Like, I thought that my neck was, my face and my neck was darker than this right here. But when I'm looking in the camera... I don't see that and I uh, I don't know like then I have to really go see because I didn't intend on skin lightning but I have to go check that out because I knew that my my neck was darker than my chest because this is getting all the Sun and this is like this you know I only wear collared shirts to work because I got an afro I just can't be pulling all that over my hair but anyway I digress y'all I'm so sorry I'm so sorry if you think you like if you look I've only seen three black boys or three men of color that have done this. The um, attractive brown skin uh, guy who I'm pretty sure was straight. And then me and then the other two dudes. <laughs> so that's all, I guess, that's all I've seen. But I've seen plenty of, you know, beautiful black females, beautiful Asian females, beautiful um uh, like beautiful Asian guys that are using this and they all seem happy. So I can say trying a lot of people have said it dried the heck out of their skin. They've been burnt. Like I said, the girl who's, uh, you could, it looks like she has some, like she left some soap underneath her bosom. Like as it, it uh, the skin was gone from out me for un, from underneath her breast. It was gone. And so she had some there and then some like somewhere else where she obviously did not get that soap. And, um, and I don't have any parts that hang like me. I, I can dry, like, all my body. Like, nothing, you know, hangs. And like I said, I didn't want that crepe neck. And so that's why I'm exfoliate. Well, I don't exfoliate that much because um, anymore because I normally would use a body brush. And I've noticed that uh, when I use that now, it, it, and, 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 it doesn't work. It doesn't. I would probably have to use a soft sugar scrub or... Like, the reason why I was kind of glad I didn't get a uh, shape up today is because I was going to have to put this on my face or um, well, I have, a, like, vitamin C serum, and that probably would have burned just as worse than it's at 20% concentrate. Uh, but, um, you know what? I'm going to stop talking. Go ahead and get you some Koji something. Or Koji san. However they say it, I like saying Koji san. But go ahead and get you some Koji san um, skin lightening soap. And, uh... You know, you might like it. It all depends on what you're trying to go for. Um, you know, hyperpigmentation, you know, blemishes. Like I said, I want to keep my freckles because I like that. I hope one day I have like a little black ginger baby or a little, you know, ginger baby that's, you know, of course, mixed with me or whatever. But, um, yeah, like my grandma. 
but uh, yeah, no. So anyway, um, I would say go ahead and use the soap if you like it, and uh, go ahead and use the soap. You might just like it. And what's spending eight dollars like? You know, you'd be amazed at would you throw eight dollars away on? And then this is something you're gonna have to wash your behind with every day anyway. So I would say use it, and I can say that I use it on uh, every part of my body except for my, um, you know, back there. That just that little small area, I'm not going to use it back there because uh, I don't think that it needs to be back there. I use, when I do the, the second thing with my wash rag and stuff, because like, I don't know if I said this, my I, my family uses wash rags, um, so we've always used wash rags, so after I actually lather up with this and rinse it off, I actually go back over my body with another bar of soap and a wash rag, just because i got to use a wash rag. Wash rags gets, wash rag will get a wash rag is basically helping to exfoliate your skin in a soft way. Like it's like a, a soft cat's tongue or a soft dog's tongue or just a dry ass rag. Just use a rag. I, I use rags. Just, and most, most black people use rags. And uh, I, I mean, I, that right there, I can say, like, every black person I know has used a rag. Like, I've been beat with wash rags, so you know I use them. So, um, more than wash rags, baby. But, um, Use it so you might just like it anyway. Once again, this I gotta get off of here because I'm I'm crazy. So once again, this is Mordecai Schwartz with the Mordecai Schwartz Show. Thank y'all so much for like if you're watching the video, thank y'all if you subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. Go ahead and hit that like button. And you know what? I also I 